Hello everyone. This is Arvind. Hello everyone. This is Arvind here. And in at part of our Learn Moki sessions today, we will be discussing about how to use the backend tools available in Moki, the developer tools for entity reference and service reference. So, as we all know that uh, services are the basic uh, building blocks in Moki, and all the logics and actions are are written around them and entities are basically uh, what enable the services to perform certain tasks so here we'll be uh, going to see how we can leverage the developer tools available to check the details on entities and uh, services with going into the id to check the code so uh, what i'll be doing is let's uh, log in using the test credentials so here as you can see there are uh, tool section available this menu is out of the box available in moki and is available always so let's click on it and if we see here we can see if they get, there are three sections over here the general tools entity tools and rest api so uh, under the general tools the services are listed and under the entity tools entities are listed apart from that there are auto screens, artifact stats, uh, data import, export, SQL runner, etc. cetera, other tools are available as well. But we'll be discussing about services and entities here. So let's start with the services. So here, as you can see uh, on this screen, we have list of all the services available that are there in uh, my setup. Uh, uh, you can perform uh, run is a standalone service or search a service and see the details of that uh, from this screen so if you want to select a service and run it you can uh, select it from the drop down uh, that is available if you have copied the paths it's more than noun and have that ready video you can paste it here and uh, run that service as well you can actually uh, search for the service here as well so uh, if you want to see the details or run the service uh, later on. So uh, I have searched for invoice. So something went wrong. Uh, as we can see, yeah, it is case sensitive so uh, as I was uh, writing down the small case it, it didn't click it so here we'll be taking account of mental account invoice services at just invoice which has uh, enough details to uh, leverage the entity reference so here as we can see that on the screen we can see like uh, at just invoice has a description available here that we can see over here, uh, service authentication is true, service type is inline, so all these details, uh, transaction is no force new, uh, user transaction timeout, etc. all those details are available. Apart from that, under the in parameters, we have uh, all the in parameters, uh, what are all required, that information, default values, uh, the format, the description, uh, if we have supplied enough information into the service definition or the service uh, uh, implementation, all the detail will come in here. Apart from that, we have out parameters. So for all the services, uh, we can check in the uh, service reference that are in out parameters. Uh, we can check the XML actions as well. So here is the XML action and the generated Groovy uh, that will be executed once we run this service. So all that detail uh, are available here. So it is actually very powerful tool. Apart from that, if there is some uh, Sika rules that are running on this service, that is also listed down here. So uh, uh, let's say like if I want to check uh, what are all the details of adjust invoice, uh, I would have to go on into the ID and check that in the code uh, then on the Sika rules, they can be written in multiple different components. So I'll have to check those. But here, all those details are available at one place. So this gives great help. 
on this screen we can go back to service list and run this service if i click on run this service it will open me this uh, ui where required uh, fields and optional fields are coming this type and i can put in details here and uh, execute this service so uh, uh, that is a very good thing uh, then let's move on to the service reference uh, uh, entity reference so here uh, uh, from the dashboard of tools we can uh, go into the entities the entity list is the default screen here so we have redirected being we have been redirected here so here are all the details of entities like there are 820 entities available and all those are available are listed down here uh, let's select i have product data available in my system so i'm searching product you can check the details of any entity you want so here uh, the product related entities are listed on here the product one is this one uh, from this screen what i can do is i can uh, perform and find operation or go into the details of uh, the entity uh, once i'm inside the details of that entity product i have all the details that con that contains the definition field types columns primary key or not uh, audit and trip lock, localize all those flags and uh, its relationship, etc. All those details are available. So, uh, yeah, there is relation here available and its descendants and dependents are available over here. So, dependents are here, and if we scroll down, all the descendants are available here. So, uh, we have a complete picture of entity using the entity reference here so let's move back apart from that what we can do is we can check or update the table and uh, go into the find product to list down the records over here so here we have the ability to actually see the records that are available in the database using the backend tools ui so uh, here are all the products that you have in your system are listed out. You can edit those from this screen. You can add a new value if you wanted to create an entity record. And from the existing one, if you wanted, you can actually uh, edit that. And then you have option to update that record. So uh, this is available here. Let's move back to the find screen. Yeah. So if I click on find, if you want to, if you have certain information available with you, you wanted to pinpoint that particular record, that can be done using this screen. So uh, you can supply the product ID, pseudo ID, uh, like, uh, like if, if broadly speaking, any field that is available in the entity. So you can supply any of that and you can search on that. So I have two products and I have the pseudo ID. So MZ03 is one of those. So I'm putting it there and performing the find. Here you can see all the uh, pseudo ID related to MZ03 are listed down here. So uh, all the variants and products are available here. So uh, this way uh, we can see the entity detail. Uh, so this way if we uh, leverage the backend tools UI. So you have a great picture of services, its details, its code, uh, the generated Groovy, uh, and the C cars running over it. Similarly, you have a great picture around uh, in the entity reference around entity, uh, uh, its relationship, dependence, descendants, as well as SICA and ICA rules that are written over it. So uh, once again, let's go to the uh, details screen here. And yeah, it doesn't, product doesn't have any SICA or ICA rules. So uh, we'll be moving back and uh, checking. Under invoice, so 
so as you can see all this e cars and uh, related auto services related to invoice are listed down here so this is a great uh, place to actually see all those without tracing it into the uh, uh, code in the id Yeah, so th that is from uh, today in this session. And if you have any questions related to using the entity reference and service reference from the backend UI tool, uh, you can post your question uh, in the comments down below to this video. Thank you for taking part in it.